Hello Pickies, welcome back to our channel UI Part by Sujita. In this video, we are going to learn the usage of a very simple activity that is Navigate Browser. So quickly open your notepad and studio to learn this activity. So this is a simple activity which we use to navigate the browser. How to use? and when to use so if you know the usage then you'll come to know where to use right so the usage is straightforward during automating a process we are supposed to navigate the browser in what and all actions you will be navigating any browser you might be going let me type this Go to the home page or maybe you will be going to go back go forward closing the tab and what else maybe we will be refreshing the browser right so these are the very basic actions which we perform on any browser. In order to these, uh, do these kind of actions on a browser, we'll go with many uh, other uh, options as well, right? But a very simple activity can accommodate this need, that is navigate browser. Now let us quickly open the studio and let us see how to use this. So what we do, we will just uh, take a simple example so i have a sequence which is ready now let me take the use application browser container okay so navigate browser will work inside this container okay so now i'll be taking a simple application so what i'll do i'll open a google chrome uh, browser in that I'll be opening www.google.com so I just opened a chrome browser and that I have www.google.com okay fine now quickly go and give this application just indicate this okay and go to activities panel type navigate browser okay this is under ui automation package okay this is an example of modern activities okay if you enable classic activities there is something called navigate to okay so we'll talk about this later but now let us concentrate on the modern activity that is navigate browser okay so yeah just drag and drop this okay so if you go to the properties of this activity there is something called action under options so you can see the same here in the activity as well when you find go back then you find go back, go forward, go home, refresh, close tab, right? This is all we discussed here. So these are all the common and simple activities which we generally use while navigating any browser, okay? So now, based on your need, you can go ahead. You can just go ahead and select any of this. So what I'm doing for now, I'm just using close tab, okay? In this use browser, I'm going to open a google.com page in the Chrome uh, browser. Then what I'm doing, I'm closing this tab. Okay, just save this. Let us give a try. So we are just opening a browser, google.com, maximize and then close. Clear? Now let us do some small task here. So I'm opening google.com and then I'm going to search for something here. Okay, so let us do this. Type into typing. 
have just indicated the values and then let me type for your part by Suji. Okay, so then let me just so I just uh, uh, indicated to open the first uh, link and then now let me go to navigate browser here let us give one more activity that is go to home okay so before that let me just remove all these activities navigate browser let me give a run on this okay execute so the intention behind this is to explain you in detail all the available options okay so we are just opening a browser going to google.com then type uipath by sujita and then selecting the first one okay now i would like to go back to the first one so that means home page okay go home okay so let us close this or let us use one more option that is go back so that it will uh, go to one step back okay so let me give a try So it opened your iPad by Sujita and then yeah clicked on the first page but instead of staying back on this it has came back okay we'll do one thing we'll click we'll, we'll use something here we'll search for something here and then we'll come back okay Also, we can use refresh. Or we can use click tab. Sorry, close tab. Okay. Closing tab, but not the entire uh, browser because uh, if we want to close the browser, we have uh, one more activity here, right? In the container, that is use browser, uh, use application here, this close option, right? So since we are not using this, I'm using never here, but I'm concentrating on navigate browser activity in order to close the tab, that's it, okay? Or just go forward, okay? So this is how we are going to use based on the need. So let me give, run this one more time before we close the session. So if you understand the usage of this navigate browser activity, we can use it based on the need. Fine. Thank you so much for your support to this channel. So meet you through our next videos. Until then. Keep learning, keep automating. Bye-bye.